Hello everyone. I am Dr. Kavidayan Karu, Assistant Professor, Army Institute of Education. As part of the CET training program, today we will discuss some questions related with general awareness based on education. These questions are important for the teacher aptitude also because a teacher must know what all those changes has happened in the field of education throughout the years. Let us discuss the questions. The first question, National Repository of Open Educational Resources, NROER, is being managed by? The first option is given IGNO, NCRT, UGC, and NEPA. The right answer for this question is NCRT. NCRT is the right answer. NCRT is National Council of Educational Training, Research and Training. The National Repository, it is a collection of the educational resources, open educational resources. So that is being managed by NCRT. NCRT is National Council of Educational Research and Training. And let us discuss what other organizations are in uh, that are given in the options. IGNO. IGNO is Indira Gandhi National Open University established by a Parliament Act in 1985. Then NCRT. It is an autonomous organization of government of India, which was established in the year 1961 as a literary, scientific and charitable society under the Society's Registration Act. Then the next option was UGC. UGC is University Grants Commission that came into existence on 28th December 1953 and that became a statutory organization of the government of India by the act of parliament in 1956. Then NEPA, National Institute of Educational Planning and Administration, that deals with the capacity building, research in planning and management of education, not only in India, but in South Asia also. Then the next question, full form of RTE Act. Options are Right to Free Education Act, then B, Right to Compulsory Education Act, C, Right to Free and Compulsory Education Act, then Right to Right of Children to Free and Compulsory Education Act. The right option is D, that is Right of Children to Free and Compulsory Education Act. This Right to Education Act 2009, also known as the Right to Education Act, was enacted by the Parliament of India on 4th August 2009. It describes the modality of the importance of free and compulsory education for children aged between 6 to 14 years in India under Article 21A of the constitution and it is based on article 45. Article 45 states that the state shall endeavor to provide within a period of 10 years from the commencement of the constitution for free and compulsory education for all children until they complete the age of 14 years. So it is based on article 45 also and it is as a fundamental right it is coming under article 21A. Then next question is question 3. Navodaya schools has been established to A. Increase number of schools in rural area. B. Provide good education in rural area. Then C. Complete Sarvashisha Abhyan. And D. Check wastage of education in rural areas. And the right answer is provide good and quality education in rural areas. 
the next question question number 4 the idea of basic education was propounded by the options are dr sakir husain dr rajendra prasad mahalma gandhi rabindranath tagore the basic education that was proposed in the vatwa pact of 1935 and it is proposed by mahalma gandhi next question is which one of the following authorities has been entrusted with the responsibility for the redressal of grievances under rte act 2009 the options are ca b ncert ncpcr nchr and here the right answer of this question is it is ncpcr ncpcr is national commission for protection of child right and national commission for protection of child right is the body has the uh, interested body to redress the re grievances under the right to education act 2009 then what is cab cab is one of the oldest advisory body for education that is central advisory body of education ncert we have already seen ncert is national council of educational research and training then nchr that is national commission for human rights next aspect of education related general awareness questions we will discuss in next video thank you